What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your fellow paizo, Mr. Reno Zaurini in the house. As you can see, not very happy. With the weather like this here in Vancouver, as we call Rancouver, how can you be happy? But it's always good to share my video today to all my fellow paisans. Before anything, put a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into some Juventus news because I'm pretty much sick of Tara about this uh, drama going on. Yes, there has been news today just to close it up quickly that Barella admitted that he that doesn't do betting. He's worried about the family and stuff like that, which he called the so called person that put his name that they're clowns. Which I don't blame the kid. I don't blame the kid. So, whoever's doing this, Corona, whoever, mention his name, Aria Fresca. And I hope he, he sues him. Which I have the confirmation too, because that's what I'm hearing. But we'll wait and see. Talking about Juventus news, I gotta get this out of my chest. I've been here day after day because you know there's rumors of the mercado, the winter mercado, and whatever it's coming on right now, it is not a hundred percent sure. But why I keep on hearing Benadeski, like ragazzi, if this guy comes in January, I know maybe for six months whatsoever. I'm going to lose it, man. Like, seriously. Just continue with your job. Do, do, Scott, you don't need this guy. You don't need him. And I, I'm here even today with uh, Ealing Jr. I know the kid that doesn't want to extend his contract, which is true that the leg is not giving him minutes because, unfortunately, we all know how he is with his old school mentality and not letting young kids grow. Which is unfortunate. But it is true that Elling Jr. doesn't want to sign. And, well, extend his contract. And I'm just like, really? And through all the names, which one of them, it is almost confirmed, they bring up this guy. Like, please, no more leftovers, no more ministries, cut out Juventus. Please, tell Benadeski, there's a lot of teams in Serie A for six months. We don't need him back, okay? Or else we're going backwards. Let me know your thoughts and leave the comment down below about Mr. Bernadeschi, then Ealing Jr., whatever the deal is, which there's going to be a meeting today. So let's see. Let's all shall see. But the rumors that are getting close that they're going to have talks is Sarmad teach. So I only hope he comes because we need some uh, new faces for the male figures after what was going on with Pogba Fajoli, unfortunately. So yeah. Let's hope uh, they get this guy. I will be more than happy. And let's get things rolling. Hopefully we can close the deal. Because with Turam, the situation, it's really high. So I'm not think, I don't think they're going to get him on uh, January. So Then there's rumors about Scalvini. 40, 50 million. But for me, that price, it is too much. No, thank you. What are your thoughts? I don't think they're going to get them. These are, are rumors, but Scavina at that price, 40, 50 million. Come on. I think you can get somebody else at that price. Now, let's get in conclusion of the Milan Juventus game. I'm going to be with the Juventus Club of uh, Vancouver, hoping to do live like close to the end. Win or lose, guys, I'm going to do live. Doesn't matter. Maybe it would be good, uh, even with the boys whatsoever. If not, it's just me. Talking, giving my two cents, and have a cheers to all my paisans from Italy because doing at one o'clock, one thirty time, you know, we can all connect and shoot, and hopefully for a good game. Because uh, on the Milan end, Sportiello is out, apparently. Yeah, yes, today's going to say they will replace him as Magnan because Magnan has the red card, but Sportiello is out. And they're going to put the other goalie that they have, so. I don't know how is that going to work out. Then Teo Nandes, and yeah, that's about it in my head, maybe? Yeah. So they have some shortage, but for us, I just found out that Mr. Key is in foul, which should be playing uh, with you and this, because this morning they weren't too sure, but now it seems like they're on the train, so either on the bench or not, let's hope to see these boys 
and let's hope to have some luck because it's been two years we haven't beat uh, uh, Milan. So I wish we could win, but it, it's a hard call. You know what I mean? Especially with the Juventus Cup, it would be great with the Juventus Cup of Vancouver to win. But let's win and see. So let's hope for the better because we all know. Uh, it's going to be, <laughs> I heard, everyone's already think it's going to be Allegri ball, uh, blocking the box whatsoever with his defense. Because speaking of defense, I don't know if you guys heard the voices of Wea and McKenney. Like he's happy with Juventus. Wea is happy. He's happy in Italy whatsoever. Right away on Wea's mouth, he said, well, it's too defensive. And when they thought about the starts of playing it. Uh, same with McKenna because he's used to another role, but whatever the boss tells him to do, if he has to do defense, it's unfortunately, you got to do defense. That's the reality of things. And there's nothing much we can change or say about it. So we just got to enjoy even a win and patience, enjoy this uh, anti cacho a la cago bucats, as I explain. <laughs> and that's it. But there are answers from two new two player, American players that say it's defensivist. I'm not the one saying it. Then, mi raccomando, on the comments, attack me. Oh, because you hate Allegri. I see the, the fact of reality. Then, you guys can say whatever you want. If you love him, you love him. Me, personally, not a chance. But, this is everything on my Juventus news. And I guess I'll talk to you lovebirds tomorrow. For the press conference of Allegri, see what he has to say. And uh, let's get ready for some Serie A action. Put a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And please share the content if you love to. Mwah. Grazie a tutti. Ciao a tutti ragazzi.